Hello, sir. How do you do? Likewise. Welcome to Meridians. Yes. Sure. Well, it's a great part of town. Easy to find, right? Yeah. Well, we haven't spotted you here before, so, so we're very, very pleased to welcome you here. Especially a gentleman of your calibre and standing. Absolutely. Yes. Well, there's no question about your taste, so we'll see if we can do just right for you. Yes, absolutely. Well, I had a briefing and I've selected three pairs of shoes for you based on your requirements. Okay, so they're going to be a smart shoe, a casual shoe, and that rather random selection that you you hinted you might be interested in. So we'll see. But um, first things first, I would like to measure your feet. Uh, and we do a little things different here. As you can see, we're fairly old fashioned in our outlook. Uh, we believe in very bespoke, tailored service. And, you know, we supply everything from books to watches, accessories, um, suspenders, uh, through to shoes, obviously. So um, we have specialities over various different areas. And um, being the old fashioned store that we are, we do things the old fashioned way. So I like to take the measurements personally and record them all in my notebook, okay? Because um, there's certain things that machines think they can tell us, think they can do. But um, sometimes when you're looking for the real quintessence of a gentleman, it takes tape measure. So if you wouldn't mind, um, are you seated comfortably? Okay, good. If you just put your, your leg up onto me, rest your foot on my thigh. Yep. Okay. Okay, yes. I'll just remove this shoe. Okay. Mm hmm. Yes, that's not a problem. Really? Yes. That's not too far away. Excellent. And just I'll just ease you out of that shoe. Lovely. Okay. And before I measure you, I just want to feel your instep, if you don't mind. Okay, so just keep the foot relaxed. Okay, so you've got a fairly high arch there. Mm-hmm. Strong tendons, yes. Any problems, any sprains or injuries on either foot that I should know about? Okay. Yes. Okay. And I see you're one of those with the second toe longer than the th uh, the big toe, right? Yes, well, it varies from person to person. But... Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little measuring here. Yeah. Okay. And here. Okay, fairly wide feet, but perfectly in proportion with your height. Great, okay. And the other foot, please, yes. They're always very different measurements, you know. No one's got entirely symmetrical feet, so. Yeah, and again. Do you mind if I just roll down the top of your sock there? Okay. And just feeling underneath. A little lower arch in this one, okay. This is the weaker foot, isn't it? Yes. No, that's not unusual at all. It depends which dominant side is guided by either side of your brain, you see. All matches up. Okay, great, and I'm just going to measure this foot, okay. Okay, well, it's more or less the same, yeah. Oh, slightly longer, yeah. Same width, but longer, yeah. Okay. And any other concerns that you'd like to go down on your records? Well, of course, when you come to see us again, it'll be a lot more streamlined and we can get on with things a little quicker. It's good to be thorough when a gentleman comes in for his first visit, okay? 
Mm -hmm. We have records going back decades on some of our clients. They came to us, their fathers came to us, their fathers' fathers came to us. So it's very generational. Well, yes, I mean, we do most all of our business on word of mouth recommendations, and we don't accept just anybody here, so. Yeah, so a little bit of nepotism probably comes into the equation that we're trying to stamp that out. Okay, good. Okay, so that's all of the bureaucracy, so to speak. Yes. Okay, so the first pair was the smart pair. Now, I do want to warn you, the, sh the, the shoes that I'm about to show you are our store samples, so they are it's a little bit scuffed up, they're obviously not in pristine condition. Obviously, if you go ahead with the purchases, you'll be getting a completely fresh and pe pristine pair, obviously. So, um, yes, I know you understand that, but I do like to make it clear. Okay, so this is the first shoe. Okay. It's a, um, it's a black suede. Very weighty. Size 9, all of these are a size 9. Um, if there's any adjustments that need to be made for your measurements, obviously we'll take that into account before any any purchases are verified. But it's, it's a tough black suede. Um, it's suitable for any kind of weather. It's virtually waterproof, not quite, um, though I wouldn't recommend wearing it on a day when you know that there's going to be rain. Okay. Um, pretty good work boot during the summer, actually, although they can get a little, a little hot in um, sort of July and August, but, you know... Um, very versatile, very comfortable because of the suede, obviously. And um, yes, and they're very robust. They're very robust, and obviously the inner lining of leather is very, very soft. Um, it's obviously imprinted with. Um, these are made by Russell and Bromley. Um, actually, the first two pairs that I'm showing you are Russell and Bromley. Okay, as you can see, a kind of simple design comes through here. The tongue going up here. Yes. Okay, so they, as I say, excuse the scuffed up bottoms, but they've been um, they've been tried on quite a lot over the last few months. A very popular shoe. Um, hand stitched all around here. And um, there's obviously an anti-slip device here at the back. So uh, three types of materials here to ensure that you have the best experience with these shoes. So. Okay, and up again, great, okay, just slip it in there, mm -hmm. okay, good, 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 how does that feel, yes, good, 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 yes, it's better if they're Sure, well these do give a little, so if it's just slightly tight, that's fine, they're going to loosen up. If it's really tight, obviously that's a no-no, because the, th the health of your feet has to come first. Okay, so let's just try on the other one, on the other side, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll use a shoehorn just here, just to guide that in. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, I totally agree, yeah. Mm hmm Well, you know, it's very good make. It's like walking on air, really, isn't it? Walking on the clouds, so. Yeah? Excellent. You know, I knew you were a discerning kind of chap, and I knew that you'd be one to make decisions fairly quickly, so it's great we don't have to hang about too much, and um, we'll put them aside for you, so let's just take them off. So, can I just ease this out? Okay, you ready? Okay. Great. And this side. Okay. Lovely. So those will be put aside for you, obviously a fresh pair. Okay, so the second, the second shoe also by Russell and Bromley, is this slip-on design. Uh, really just for the summer and the spring. Okay, so it's extremely finely handcrafted, 100% leather. 
very intricate woven detail. Okay, over this shoe. Absolutely finest of Italian leathers here. Ventilated throughout. I don't know if you can see the beautiful design here, almost like a herringbone pattern. Um, extremely comfortable, just slips on like a glove. Um, very simple and beautiful design, extremely, um, extremely practical. One thing I will say is that the the bottom is very sheer and can be a little slippy. Again, it's got a little bespoke addition here to help you um, stay stable. But this isn't one for rough and tumble. This is for those casual days strolling along promenades out on the piazza when you're not going to be out and about too long, but you need something uh, cool and ventilated to, to feel casual around. So should we just slip those on? Okay, there we go. And I noticed that your socks are cashmere, so it's going to be quite slippy. But okay, that one and the other side. Okay. Yes, if you just flex your feet a little. Great. Yes, have a little walk around. Yeah, they look great on you. I have to say, you can really pull them off. Not everyone can. Yes. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yes, well, the first pair that I showed you the smart pair, uh, they're 175. This pair are actually 230. So um, even though they're less of a robust shoe, it's the, it's the craftsmanship and the handmade um, accoutrements that um, bolster up the price, but um, you get what you pay for, don't you? Great investment piece, okay. So, yes, you'll take them too, excellent. Well, we're doing quite well, aren't we? Okay, so the third shoe you asked for, no, it was not a problem at all, so, uh, yes. The thing is you didn't specify a colour, so I, I found the style you were after, but um, I chose the colour for myself and we've had two black shoes, so I went for red on this occasion, so I hope you don't mind me. Um, well, okay, I'll show you if you're, you're, no, you're up for it. Okay, so these are, this is the next shoe, okay. There we are. And this is by a company called Pleaser USA. Okay. So these are the finest ruby red stripper heels. And yes, they're in a size nine. And that's not a problem at all sourcing those. You have to remember that all the supermodels we, we deal with also in, in the ladies shop next door, you know, they're all sometimes six foot one, six foot two. They've all got huge feet, so they do. The size nine is absolutely nothing for a guy, so um, that's fine. And I know you wanted something for the weekend, so these are perfect for a Saturday night um, if you feel like getting dressed up and doing something different. So as you can see, they're encrusted with rhinestones that match, that match the red design. Beautiful detailing there. Okay, and that shiny red inside and the long stiletto heel. Yeah. Okay, so it's very textural, feels great, and they just slip on and they're strong, you know. Um, whether they're on the ground or they're back over your head, they're going to stay on that foot. Okay, so let's just slip that on. Okay. Ah, I see your eyes light up in an instant. How does that feel? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, I know, I know. Yes. They look quite magnificent, I have to say, you've got great legs. Mm-hmm. Yes, well, I can see where you rolled up your trousers. Great calf muscle. And these will help develop them even more when you're trotting about in these. Okay, so other side. Yes. Well, I certainly approve. I think they look fantastic, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. You'll take all three. Okay. Well. I'm pretty pleased with myself, even if I do say so myself. I think I chose three great pairs for you, okay? So we'll total all that up and um, it'll go on your account, okay? So it'll be invoiced. Yes. Sure. Mm-hmm. 
Do you need any help putting your shoes back on? Okay. Yes. Foot up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, yes, I live around here also, yes. Just next to the um, the Italian restaurant, Fitzroy Square. Yes, well, Fitzrovia is such a charming place, you know, to live and work here is a blessing. Yes, absolutely. You know that restaurant, yeah. Well, sometimes it's good to just, you know, have a simple, simple dining experience with good, good hearty food, don't you think? Oh, yes, well, sure, yeah, I'd love to. Uh, next Wednesday or Tuesday, perhaps, if, it, if it's after working hours, obviously. And the other side. Well, yeah, I mean, that's very convenient. It's, it's where I work, where I live, so... Yes, I'd, I'd love to go to dinner with you, that'd be very nice, yes. No, that's not a problem. Okay, they're off. Very good. Yes. No. Quite delightful, yeah. It's been so nice to meet you, yes, of course. Yes. Very much so. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sure, well, I look forward to seeing you then. Okay, I'll meet you there at the restaurant uh, next Wednesday, shall we say. Mm-hmm. 8.30? Wonderful. Okay, that's good. And what do you like for breakfast? <laughs> 